Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil, and yes, that's right, I'm using a selfie stick. These things get a bad rap, but there's a lot of good things you can do with them besides just taking self-portraits. For example, one thing they're really good for is vlogging. Uh, you know, we can walk around outside like I'm doing and show your audience a little something different. Here we've got some woods over here, <laughs> lots of snow around. And just give them something to look at aside from just a blank wall or a you know, static room. It's also great for doing a group vlog or an interview like my fellow vlogger Regan has done in some of his videos. On the photography side, you can use it to get shots high up where you don't have anything to stand on, like this picture I shot for a recent job. In this video I shot last summer, I was trying to shoot over the heads of the crowd, but I was holding my arm up to hold the camera, and it got tired really fast. The selfie stick would have solved that. Alright, so let's take a look at this thing. So we got a really nice packaging here. I'm really, really satisfied. It's a very like smooth kind of plat uh, paper, and it just feels great. Uh, it's very you know, nicely decorated. Everything very informative. All the information is on here. All right, got a nice little picture of it on there. And this is the Bluetooth smartphone selfie stick. It's the Duke series. So let's uh, take a look, see what we got inside. Oh, so there's the simple instructions, nothing too detailed there. It's, it's in multiple languages, so it's not a whole lot. And so we have the actual stick itself. Set that aside. We get a charging cable to charge it up for use. It should be charged before the first time you use it. I charge it all the way. You got a nice uh, carrying case. It's not nothing too fancy. Now this is a beta product and they said they're still working on the case and the packaging. So set that aside there. And we also get a an additional knob. Uh, so let's take a look at that here. You can open that up. And so if you look at the stick itself, it opens up and it has a knob that's uh, got three sides on it. So if you prefer to have the wing nut type of knob, you can use that instead. So it's just a nice little bonus feature. Now, as I said, it does fold open and you can put your phone in there. And this part does detach and as a little side bonus, See if I remove it there. Well, I'm not going to take it all the way off, but if you remove it, you can actually attach a GoPro on there instead of your phone. So, this thing extends, of course. Okay. It goes to a full 80 centimeters, which is quite long. I think it's longer than most regular ones. And so, see, I've got my phone here. And sorry, my screen's a little got some fingerprints on it. But I do have a case on my phone, and I have found that it actually fits very nicely on there. Even though this is a, a Galaxy Note 5, which is you know, one of the largest phones around. And a lot of the other adapters that I've seen, like I have this one that I use for my tripod, and this one will not fit my phone unless I take the case off. So that's a really nice little bonus there that actually does fit without having to take my case off. Now, of course, that does depend on your case. And so this is Bluetooth, so it's got just one button. Once you charge it up down there, you just have to press the one button and it turns it on. Um, if you press and hold, you can see it starts, it turns on, it starts flashing, and it's looking for the Bluetooth in my phone, which is not actually on right now. And so it's not going to find anything, but then it's also just one button to take the pictures and you can press and hold it to turn it off. There it goes. And if you forget to turn it off, it will automatically shut itself off, which is great because it's not going to drain the battery. 
So I've connected to my phone right now and I've connected the Bluetooth and I don't know why but you can see it comes up as Winter Sun. Uh, I'm not sure what that means but if you buy one of these uh, you'll know which one to look for. And I'll just do a quick little test here and see, pressing the button and you can see it's, there's a slight delay but it takes the picture pretty accurately. Try and shoot this way. There you go. I also have a manual camera. And let's get that back on there. And so it does also work with manual camera as well. I found that if I'm doing video, it will not be able to start the video. I have to manually do the video myself. However, it can stop the video, which is pretty handy. So it's not ideal, but I mean, uh, that's, that's just my camera app, the Samsung app. Maybe it's different with the apps that you use. So let's look at the build quality. This thing, uh, they've actually done a lot of research and everything in, to, in order to build this, so it's really nice. First of all, uh, I believe they said they went to about 30 different factories to try and get this made just the way they wanted it. So it, this, the handle is really nice and soft, kind of a rubbery feel. Uh, the, this part is a little bit kind of cheapy plastic feeling, but that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, as long as it stays on there firmly because you have the wrist strap on there. So if you drop it, you're not going to you know, actually drop it and break it or anything. This part is great because it completely folds up and you can easily stow it away in its uh, little bag or in your purse or pocket. So once we've got that open, of course we have this knob to uh, tighten or loosen it, which is handy, um, and it you know, just makes it real sturdy, you can tighten that up and you're definitely not going to drop your phone in there. Uh, one thing I did notice, if you can see this, it's twisting a little bit where this metal piece in here connects to the handle, which I did notice a couple of times just the weight of my phone made it twist. But it wasn't really a big deal, uh, I can twist it back. And like I said, it is a beta product, so maybe they'll fix that. But overall, it's a pretty great feeling. I, I really like this. I went and I checked out uh, some others. I've never actually used a selfie stick before, but I went and checked out some others in a store, and they really felt very cheap. They, you know, instead of being Bluetooth, they had a wire that connected to your phone, which felt really flimsy. This thing is really rock solid, sturdy feeling. So that I like, and I'm sure this thing will come in handy for a long time. So this thing goes for $39, though on Amazon you can find it for $12.99. However, they've given me a coupon code for 20% off, which I'll post down here somewhere. And of course on top of that, there's another one which I'm giving away. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment below saying, I want it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Last time a bunch of people commented to enter, but were not subscribed. And they've also given me another deal that's really cool. For the first five people who subscribe and tell me about it, you'll get one for just $3 with free shipping. So that is my review of the SciPy Selfie Stick. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe.